Hi, this is Angie Monko, your holistic divorce coach for women. Are you doing a walk of shame through divorce? Typically, a walk of shame is referred to like an overnight stand, or like a fling or an affair or something like that. But it can really be any aspect of ourselves that uh, we don't like. Um, it's very easy to feel these feelings um, and direct them away from us. You know, like we're blaming our ex for something, um, for making us feel that way. Um, shame is an emotion that tells us that we're bad or that we're wrong. Uh, and it makes us want to hide, like hide under the covers. Um, so shame can actually take one of two directions. Shame can take two directions. So the first one is we can place most of the blame on our um, ex you know, because to take personal responsibility would just feel too painful or harsh. Um, so it's easier to think that they're just narcissistic, narcissistic and abusive. Um, number two is we can place all the blame on ourselves and just feel so ashamed. Like, what's wrong with me? Uh, why did they leave me? You know, I'm such a loser, whatever. Um, so my question to you, why is the marriage dissolving? Because it's never one or it's never all of one or the other. It's always both of those things. So let's take a deeper look at why the marriage is dissolving. So ask yourself, did I feel safe to be myself in this marriage? Or was I constantly hiding my true thoughts and feelings? Two, did I ask for my needs to be met? Or did I allow myself to be a doormat? Three, was I regularly playing the peace, pe peacekeeper? Four, did I regularly take over responsibility for my spouse and my kids? And number five is you know, why the marriage is dissolving is, did I try to control things excessively and feel anxious when things didn't go as I planned? So it's important to remember that there's no single cause for divorce. It's both parties typically share in the responsibility for the ending of the marriage. So with my story of shame um, through divorce and its long-term impact, I got divorced back in 1998 and I gave custody of my two-year-old daughter, Maddie, to her dad for feeling guilty for wanting out of the marriage. I was naive and I lived with the shame for many, many years, even after Maddie moved in with me 11 years later. And tragically, I lost Maddie um, to cystic fibrosis in October of 2018, and I wasn't able to make this decision to, up to her. And so you can see more of this story in other blogs, but I've discovered that I have this controller and this victim part of me that's really in charge. So how does shame begin? Typically, it begins in childhood experiences um, where we grow up in a chaotic environment. You know, we don't feel safe. We feel unseen. We feel like we're the ones that we try to take charge in some way just to make us feel safe so that we can survive emotionally and physically. Um, um, so coming to believe that something's especially wrong with us, you know, and during and after divorce, it's normal to feel a lot of divorce guilt and shame um, it's important to remember that these feelings are normal and that you're not alone so my victim and my controller really contribute a lot to this shame you know this part of me um, in fact they're like cousins you know they, they tag team really very well together <clears throat> and sending me messages that I'm not good enough or that I'm not lovable so my first part the controller that I was describing earlier I call her the slave master Sorry if this offends you, but it, it feels like it's true. She has a stranglehold on my choices and my freedom. And um, she's very hyper, she's hypercritical of me. Um, she would drive me to the point of exhaustion. Um, and she would have me work instead of prioritize my family. In her chatter, you need to work, Angie. You don't have time to spend with your family because you need to earn a living. They rely on you. Maddie is gone and you can't make it up to her anymore. You might as well work. You don't have time to relax and be happy now. That's just ridiculous spiritual jargon. You need to work harder. What's wrong with you that you aren't work further along? You must stay in control at all costs. So this is my inner chatter with the controller part of me. So um, fortunately, we do have another part that helps to alleviate some of the harshness of her. <laughs> okay, then there's my victim self. I call it poor me. And she feels very sorry for herself um, life is happening to her, especially after she lost her daughter, Maddie. Um, her inner chatter is, oh my God, life is so unfair. You know, the other shoe's going to drop at any moment. Um, fortunately, we have this other part. We can call it the sage, higher self. I call mine higher self. And this wiser part of us can really direct us 
and help us to see things in a much different way. Like this part of us is okay with all things that are happening, all feelings, all circumstances. Um, this still small voice might say, Angie, it's okay. You know, human experience is meant to be hard. But yeah, your other parts are throwing tantrums and trying to control matters, but you don't have to listen and believe everything that they say. It's simply not true, all that they say. Everything is gonna be okay, you're safe, you're loved, you're supported, and it's time to just relax and trust God. So everybody has a saboteur, multiple saboteurs. No matter how successful you are, how accomplished, and how far along you are in life, everybody has a saboteur. And that's totally normal. Um, that saboteur will convince us that we're losers, especially during divorce. And so what if we could shape, escape the shame and blame game? Um, either course of action, whether we're shaming and blaming our ex or ourselves, like is either of them productive? Not really. So there's another way and it's about taking personal responsibility without harsh self-judgment. We can heal that shame and that, that uh, guilt that we have so I want to invite you to check out my events at HarmonyHarbor.com, Three Secrets to Survive the Stress of Divorce, Helping Women Reclaim Their Lives is coming up very soon. Check out the, my uh, website. Let me support you. I believe we need to feel safe and supported as we walk through the shame of divorce. Thank you so much.